Hi, I'm Dave Shuttler of the Bug Dock. We're down here at Hilton Head uh, Island uh, this weekend, uh, and we've noticed there's a lot of mole cricket activity, and uh, we decided that we would come over and show you how you could sample for the mole crickets at this time of the year. There's a lot of damage. Uh, we're out here on the driving range, and there's a lot of mole cricket damage. The way that we normally do this is we get a, a couple of gallons of water in a bucket, uh, we use uh, just plain old dishwashing detergent, basically one tablespoon of dishwashing detergent in a gallon of water, or per gallon of water. And basically all you have to do is where you see quite a bit of, of mole cricket activity is just drench that area and the soapy water will burrow down or, or move down into their channels. You can see there's a lot of bubbling over here so there's probably a deep channel in there. Okay. And here's the problem. It's been very hot today. We got up to about 65 degrees today, and that means that the mole crickets will tend to go deeper into the soil, and it'll take them some time to, to move on up. Now, if you do find mole crickets at this time of the year, it's very difficult to manage them because they're very large, they're often very deep in the soil, and about the only way that you can manage them this late in the season is to use a bait or some of the other materials, uh, like uh, fipronil-based uh, materials, that will kill these larger mole crickets at this time of the year. It's been about three minutes now that, uh, uh, that since we applied that soapy material, we saw some bubbling going on, and, and sure enough, where there was some bubbling, uh, we did get uh, a couple of the, the last instar nymphs of the tawny mole cricket. Uh, these little rascals uh, will probably overwinter here about this stage, but these are big enough and fat enough they may actually molt into the adults uh, very soon. Uh, and like I said, these big ones are very difficult to manage at this time, and in uh, some cases you may have to use a bait, or you may have to wait until after a warm rain for them to come up and to come into contact with the insecticide.